Hello, and welcome to Game Bytes, a new series where I try to look into some interesting stuff about video games. To start off this adventure, we're going to look at what happened to Banjo 3 and the timeline of events of the public saw. Hope you stick around and watch to the end. I, this was really hard to find information for, honestly. There's not that much out there. Banjo-Kazooie was, and to some still is, one of the most popular 3D platformers of its time. Sadly though, the franchise hasn't had a new game since 2008. And let's just say not a lot of people like that one. The last game was much less of a platformer and more of a sandbox car building game thingy. I honestly enjoyed most of it, besides a uh, few levels that were dumb and didn't need to exist, but there was a much different game plan before Nuts and Bolts. Banjo 3. Nintendo Space World, August 24th, 2000. The announcement of the GameCube, and in a tech demo, a small clip of something new in between all the other stuff. <laughs> Besides this clip, there is nothing else people know about Banjo 3 at this point. Two years later, the 24th of September 2002, Microsoft has just bought Rareware for $375 million. It's assumed that Rare probably, maybe, is still working on Banjo 3 under some other projects, maybe, who knows, but some code named Banjo X was found by some fans and the code wasn't very functional but people managed to find character models and text and that's it. May 10th 2006 E3. After six years of waiting the public got to see something new. A quick trailer for Banjo 3? Well that's what most people thought of it at least. There wasn't a name in the trailer it was just Banjo and Kazooie. Uh -huh. oh. July 15th, 2008, E3 again, we've got a new trailer, and a release date. And the trailer shows something very, very different from the original games.
November 11th, 2008. The game was released on Xbox 360 and had very mixed reviews. Many people did not enjoy the deviation from the original ideas of Banjo Kazooie, a collectathon platformer. However, others were okay with the new direction. Sadly, we would never get another Banjo Kazooie game again. Ever. At all. Maybe. Eventually. Who knows? But hey, we got him in Smash Bros. That's it. He's in Smash. That's cool. I hope everyone that managed to sit through all seven minutes of that enjoyed it. And if you learned something, maybe like the video, maybe subscribe. Who knows? If this video does well, I might do another Game Bites. I hope to. There are some cool things I've heard about. See ya next time.